Ladies and gentlemen, um, right now I am at the uh, Freedom Rally um, in St Kilda and as you can see uh, we have quite a number of people here all here to celebrate Australia Day. Um, you saw earlier um, the Invasion Day protest and now you get to see the other side of the coin which is fantastic. So um, as you can see we got everyone here and they're all singing the national anthem and celebrating what it means to be an Australian. Hey guys, how you going? How you going today? Hey, good, how are you? Yeah, I'm pretty alright. Oh, what channel are you with? Oh, nice to meet you. Oh, that's good. Um, just a question. Are you going to cover this event fairly? Did you see that 10,000 people there in the city? All rubbing shoulders whilst they... Well, we had those little anti-government lockdown protests and they nailed us down. Disgusting. They know if we're too busy fighting each other, we won't have the time to see what they're doing to us. This government thrives on our division. It gets richer, bigger and stronger while the common people's freedoms are being lost, possibly forever. And that's why I say to you, the time to question in Australia Day is over. It's the date, and it has been since 1808. The date was used mostly by free prisoners to celebrate their love of this land that they lived in, with drinking and merriment. 45 of these prisoners dragged to the other side of the world died on the way to their prison and they still celebrate this country. So how did we get here? Ironically, we find ourselves at this precipice because of one of our great virtues, our she'll be right attitude. When we see an invasion day protest across the street, she'll be right. When our sportsmen kneel for Black Lives Matter, she'll be right. When they rename King Cheese bloody Tear Cheese, she'll be right. Well, boys and girls, I'm here to let you know she won't be right without a careful, vigilant population protecting our memories, fighting for our traditions and our culture, and defending our children, Australia as we know it will be gone. You should feel very proud of you, everyone who came here today. At a at, how, how many people do we have in Victoria? Six million people, and what are they? 300, 400 people? Well done to each and every single one of you for fighting for this country today. No more cooking. <laughs> no more coon cheese. No more we are young and free. No more sheilas, no more cobbers. Just a grey bland corporate nothingness. That's what they want. But that's not why we are here today. We are good, happy, peaceful people. And we love Australia. Do we love Australia? We love her spirit, we love all of her flaws, we love her strength, we love her compassion, we love her landscapes, her cities and her crazy weather. We won't let them fool us, we know who we are. We aren't Hatefield Bogans, we're just Bogans. We share, we love, we help, we defend and we apologise. Ask anyone on the street what they respect about our country and the answer will often be our welcoming nature and our multiculturalism. If we love Australia, we also love this. But if you live in Australia, you must love Australia too. She loves us, she needs us now more than ever. So say it with me everyone. We love Australia! We love Australia! We love Australia! We love Australia! Thank you everybody, seriously, give yourselves a round of applause. <laughs> Bloody oh, that was fantastic. Thank you everybody. I'm trying to get dingoes longer up here. I stood upon the rocky shore.
Well, thank you for watching everything today. Um, I'm glad you could join us. Um, if you do like the work we do here at The Unshackled, please make sure you like and subscribe and share this video to get everything out there, all the truth. I'm currently using a Kmart tripod, so it's not very stable and it could blow over at any moment. But that aside, thank you for watching, share this around, and um, hope we see you back here again. Take it easy. Have a good one.